Now in this masterclass, we're gonna take a look at choosing a broker. So what do we consider when choosing a broker? What are the different factors that are important to us um, when we're looking at maybe setting up a new account to invest or to trade? One of those things is certainly gonna be trust. How much can you trust that broker? How confident are you in really getting your money back? That's really one of the underlying things in here that we need to really consider. Um, so there's trust is potentially um, something that we might wanna consider when choosing um, to register with a broker and invest our money. Second is maybe investment offering. So what did the broker offer? What kind of asset classes? We have another masterclass in this series on asset classes. What asset classes? What can we trade? What can we invest in? So what are the investment offerings from the broker? Commissions and fees, always important. How much are we paying um, to have an account? Um, and what, how much do we pay each time we trade? And then we're looking at the, maybe the trading platform. How sophisticated is the trading platform that is on offer from any broker? Research, do the, um, does the broker offer research content? Does the broker offer education? Does the broker offer a decent level of customer service? How um, approachable are they? How easy to get hold of are they? And then finally, mobile trading. What are the mobile trading apps that are on offer? So let's take a look at each of those um, in, in order. So trust, first of all, are they regulated? Um, importantly here, would, would they be regulated by the Australian Securities and Investments Commission? Okay, are they regulated? So that's gonna be important to us, first of all. Okay, so then we're gonna be more, feeling more comfortable if they are regulated, we have somewhere to go if there's an issue with anything. Do they have a long history? Is it, a, is it the company been set up for some time? So then you've got good track record. Are they publicly listed? Is it a publicly listed company? That might give you some more solidity and more trust in the company. And finally, look at maybe some online reviews. Um, so looking at online reviews maybe gives you an idea of how trustworthy those um, any individual broker may be. Let's talk about investment offerings now, the next section. So investment offerings, what is available to trade? How, how broad a spectrum of investment tools and investment products can we um, invest or trade in? Is it multiple asset classes? Or maybe you're looking for a specialist broker. Maybe you're not looking for a, um, looking to trade lots of things, lots of different um, uh, um, asset classes. Maybe you're looking at one in particular. So if you are maybe looking for a more of a specialist broker. Let's take a look at now commissions and fees. Okay, important, what do we pay to trade? Okay, a lot of the times we're paying the spread, so we're trading to cross the spread. So if you're a buyer, you're buying at the ask price, the offer price, and if you're selling, you're selling at the bid price. So it's like crossing the spread. Many brokers make their profit um, that way. Some have fixed commissions. Some have a combination of fixed commissions and, com and crossing the spread. Uh, maybe there are other fees involved as well. Okay, maybe there's deposit fees. Uh, maybe there's fees to to take money out of your account. So think about that as well. So we need, need all these things need to be looked into on the um, front of commissions and fees. The trading platform where we actually do our trade and maybe look at the charts. Okay, look at the um, any kind of identifying identifying price patterns. We have a separate masterclass again on technical analysis. Um, is the trading pl platform important to you at all? Do you trade on a technical front? Do you need to look at the chart? Do you use technical analysis that much? Do you want to be able to trade directly from the chart? That may be important to you. So there's various other things you're going to be wanting to look at. How maybe how the depth of quality of their trading platform. Research is the next section we're going to take a look at. Is that important to you? Are we looking at fundamental research, macro research? Maybe there's technical analysis research, okay? So some brokers offer this, some don't. Is that important to you or can you do your own research? Do you need individual company research? So all of these things and maybe others are going to be important to look at if this is an area that is important to you. Education, are you a new beginner trader investor? Are you an intermediate who wants to get better information and better education? So maybe this is important to you. Are webinars offered? There may be webinars on offer. Are videos offered? You know, is it just um, various articles on offer? There's lots of ways that the broker can transmit information on an educational basis to you. Maybe for you, this is an important factor when choosing a broker. Customer service is what we're looking at now. Is that important to you? Do you need to be able to get hold of somebody when you need them? Is telephone contact important? Maybe you're more looking at web chats, online chats, okay? Maybe just happy with email support. Is it available over the weekend? Is it available in the evenings? Maybe all of these things are gonna be important to you. Mobile trading next, is that important? Do they offer Apple um, apps? 
for maybe iPad, maybe for iPhone, maybe for Android devices. Are you gonna be wanting to trade on the go? If that is the case, then this may be important to you. And so are they very user friendly? Do they sync with their desktop options? All of these things are maybe considered, need to be considered if mobile trading is gonna be an important factor. So I'm gonna do a recap in here for what we need to look at on choosing a broker. Trust issues, the solidity of the company, the solidity of the broker. Investment offerings, what is available to trade? Do you want a specialist broker? Commissions and fees, how much does it cost you to trade? How much does it cost you to have the account? The trading platform, research and education, are they on offer from the broker? And how good is the customer service and what is the mobile trading platform like? This has been Steve Miley for The Bull and please do join us again on thebull.com.au and thebull.asia. Stay bullish.